Another way, when you think about what happens when you introduce a common enemy or a superordinate goal, is you touch upon people's sense of identity. So we all have different identities. Uh, identities are how do you find what identities you have? If I ask you to introduce yourself and say, who are you? What are you? You're going to give multiple answers to that. And that gives you different identities. So I, I could say, I'm a man. I'm 40 years old. I'm a father. I'm a professor. I'm French. I'm American. I'm uh, an explorer. I'm, you know, I have a dog. You know, I'm a dog owner, you know, like, uh, I'm, you know, spiritual, but uh, non-religious, you know, blah, blah, blah. Those could be, like, different, like, uh, identities, you know. Uh, so those all signify membership in a community of people who are like you, right? Uh, usually, conflict can happen between people who feel they belong in different circles and who feel like, People who are in another circle don't belong in their circle. You know, that's essentially what racism is about, you know, as an example. Uh, I'm white, you're black, we shouldn't be in the same circle. Now, if you expand your circle, you know, what, you know th this is what uh, one of the greatest uh, person to fight against racism, I think, in the world in the last hundred years, you know, Gandhi, uh, his whole thing was like, we're all part of the human race. So expand your circle of identification to realizing you are human. You're blacks and whites and other you know, colors. We're all humans. And that's, you know, that's, what, uh, that's what we should look at. You know? We should all feel part of that human family. So that's a, another way of overcoming uh, conflict, expanding your circle of, of identification. Uh, interestingly, so you know, you've seen that introducing a company does that, right? We're Republicans and Democrats, but we're American. You know, that's a wider circle. You know, uh, we all believe it would be good to explore space, and you know, maybe we can all agree that it would be, you know, important to cure cancer or to find, you know, answers, uh, scientific answers to great problems. You know, uh, that benefit us. You can also, you know, you could go farther and ex extend the circle to all living things. You could become a vegetarian and say, I don't want to, you know, I, any mammal, any animal, you know, should not be harmed, and you're still harming plants. But, <laughs> uh, you know, you can't, you know, ultimately when you think about that, you can't expand and never harm anything without dying, right? I mean, you have to eventually, you have to divert something from its own destiny if you're going to survive, you know? So, but, you know, you can expand, 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 and uh, that helps you overcome conflict. Um, there's an interesting, uh, maybe we'll try this in, uh, in a tea group. There's an interesting exercise where you're given a set of blank cards and you write your identities, you know. So you try to write as many identities as you can. Uh, you know, I'm whatever, you know, race, gender, you know, whatever comes to your mind. And then you ask to give away which one is the least important. So give away one of your identities and then the next one, then the next one, then the next one. And that gives you a... a priority list of what identities are the most important and central to you. Then, uh, then you give away the last card and then you're like, what are you now, once you've given that away. Um, but so usually the identity that we feel the strongest attachment to is the one that's going to be more likely to be involved in conflict. When somebody's touching that identity, I'm getting upset. You know, I'm like, don't take my you know, Confederate flag, you know, because that's you know a symbol of the South and all that we mean, you know. Like and you can understand why people might feel that, you know, if you live in the South. You know, we we I care about California. I like the Californian flag, you know. Uh, you know, I think it's you know, uh, I think Cali I like California as an entity. And I'm attached to it, so uh, you know, I think it's cooler than the other states. <laughs> uh, so. No, seriously, I mean, I think California is a cool state, you know. Uh, so, uh, but, you know, you can, so you, can, you can have attachment love for something, and, you know, but it can lead you to exclude, you know, uh, other, you know, to not feel part, you know, to be exclusive. Um,
Okay, so we have 23 minutes to uh, touch upon negotiation. So negotiation is a big topic. There's a class that you can take, uh, an elective that's entirely devoted to negotiation. But I wanted to touch upon it here in the class in conflict because negotiation is one of the ways in which you can overcome conflict in a civilized way, in a productive way. So uh, whether it is like uh, when it comes to buying or selling something or when it comes to uh, at work, negotiation uh, contracts, uh, negotiating, you, you negotiate all the time with your friends, you know. Uh, so, and there's a lot of stuff that you can learn about negotiation. So uh, 